Well, as you can see, I've got my uh, other my kit that I bought a long time ago up here, and this one also has muscles on one side and the ske full skeletal structure on the other side, which is really helpful. Now, this maquette has a partial under the mus main muscles uh, look at the uh, horse, but it doesn't show the skeletal structure. And on this side, it shows a full muscle structure. Now, that's extremely helpful, but it is also really helpful to have the uh, full skeletal structure showing as well. I'm not sure if they've got one with that, but uh, anyway, I got this off of uh, anatomytools.com and they were sold out the last I looked. And they will be on back order. Time to play with some clay. I do have my uh, uh, skeletal structure that I uh, blew up to the size of the uh, horse that I'm working on. So I can take my measurements off of here for the uh, bone structure. And so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put that right down there on my table and put this on there to keep it uh, on there without having it fall off, hopefully. We don't need any lessons in... Uh, gravity today <laughs> all right i'm gonna start with the uh shoulder blade and uh get that going now i'm not going to show everything because i cover this all on a a uh, couple of videos and uh that i sell on vimo and uh their instructional videos on how to sculpt where i give over 50 years of my uh, expertise and learning and tricks that I've learned over the years on how to make something simple that looks very complicated. Still continuing to uh, uh, put together the uh, bone structure of the uh, horse's leg. Um, I'm going to get this horse to this point I'm not going to do the skull part until probably near the last or at some point in the future, but not right now. I just need to uh, get the main part of the body uh, to the point where I like it. Again, I'm not uh, trying to put every detail into the bones. I'm just blocking them basically in so that I can come back. Once I add the uh, muscles to it, to uh, have something to put the muscles on. This uh, self-hardening clay really does make a nice base for uh, this clay, the uh, J-Mac that I'm putting on right now. It uh, sticks to it perfectly, and that's really a key that you want your armature to have a strong base so that... Uh, when you uh, create the uh, parts of the horse, uh, they stay where they're supposed to be.
I had to uh, stop recording because there was a woodpecker just outside my door, uh, my window here, pecking away on the side of the house. <laughs> so funny. Anyway. <laughs> okay. I wonder what the hell was that? Okay. Sounds like he's on my garage door right in front here. This uh, studio was actually a garage and they blocked off the uh, barn door that uh, opened up into it. And uh, he, he's out there, I think, getting ready to peck away. At least that's what it sounds like. I don't know, maybe not. Ah, he's in another part of the house. Yeah, I've been hearing that woodpecker off and on for the near two years. Well, about the two years that I've been here now. I don't know if it's been a two years or one year. I can't remember when I moved in here. It's got to be at least two years. All right. I've got the uh, skeletal structure roughed in on both horses. Now, I think you might be able to see more clearly how this design is going to work out. The uh, hardening clay that I had on this part here uh, wasn't on there very well and it broke off when I was trying to reposition the head of the horse to match the action. And uh, so I just stuck some regular clay on there. It doesn't matter. I can still do it in regular clay. And I can put hardening clay on there if I want to. But I've got them separated enough to make up for the uh, muscles that are going to be coming in contact. And uh, my next uh, quest is to figure out what kind of uh, texture to put on the horses. Do I want a, a really rough texture or do I want a uh, fine-tuned texture and I'm kind of leaning towards the rough texture because I want the rough texture to kind of signal to the mind's eye that there's a lot of action going on in this kind of like a blurred or shaking camera anyway any way I do it I think it's going to come out just fine and I can't wait to get really into this. All right, that's going to be it for today, and I'll come back uh, uh, next time and see how far we get and see where we start from. I need to get a wider base. All right, good night, everybody. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.